In this tutorial, we will be showcasing the profile field-based cohort membership plugin, and we will demonstrate how by changing the value of a user profile field, a Moodle site's theme is rendered differently for that particular user. Now to carry out this demonstration, we're going to need a couple of things in place. Firstly, we need a theme, or need two themes on the site. So I'm just going to go to Site Administration, Appearance, Themes, and as you can see, we're going to use the Boost theme and the Classic theme that come with Moodle. The next thing is we'll need a profile field for the, for the user. So again, we're going to go to Site Administration, Users, Accounts, user profile fields, here it is down there. And we're going to create a new profile field. It's going to be based on the drop down menu. And we're going to create for this example, one called role. So give it a unique short name and a long name. And description if you want to, you can say it's required at startup. Uh, only the user can see it. And the options in this drop down are going to be for this role is going to be doctor, nurse, and other. And we'll make the default other. The next thing is we need a cohort, or well, two cohorts, There's one for the doctor and one for the nurse. So we go to site administration, users, accounts. Cohorts. So we're just going to add a new cohort up here, and this one's going to be called Doctor Boost. We're going to use the Boost theme cohort. And much, everything is going to say much the same, except down here we're going to force the boost theme for anyone in that cohort. And the next cohort we're going to create is the nurse one. So click on add a new cohort again. Nurse. Classic. Cohort. So if the person is has the role of a nurse, they're going to be placed into that cohort. Oh, and one thing we need to do is ensure that we force the classic theme at the bottom of that setting. Now the final step is to firstly get the profile field based cohort membership plugin installed on your site. Uh, and if that can be found here and if you're a Pukanui client just ring us up and we'll get that installed on your site if not you may need to contact your site administrator and get them to install that on your Moodle site and then once that's installed you can then configure it now to configure it you go to site administration users accounts and you'll see down here profile the field based cohort membership click on that you're taken to the last tab to select the cohorts to be managed and the two cohorts as Dr. Boost theme cohort and the Nurse Classic theme cohort. Save that. Once we've done that, we can then create our rules. It automatically takes you to add a new rule. And so the new rule we're going to do is going to be based on the role profile field that we created. So we'll select that and we'll say if the role matches Dr, we want that to be want that person to go into the Dr. Boost theme cohort. Save that. Then we'll create a second rule based on the role. And this time, if the role is set to nurse, we want that person to be put in a nurse cohort theme. So basically, that's kind of done now. Now you can check the members of the cohorts. And currently, if we open that up, you'll see that the doctor has been added to the boost theme cohort. 
and the nurse, that's my test users there, has been added to the nurse cohort. Finally, we can then demonstrate by the seeing the theme changing. I'm going into the doctor's user account, logging in as them, and you can see that the theme is now changed to the boost. Similarly, if I log in as the nurse, click on the nurse's username, log in as, you'll see it renders the screen using the classic theme. One final comment, uh, if you're on this screen and you can't see your users, uh, you may need to wait till the cron the scheduled task runs or you can force it if you've got the correct permissions you can force the, the cron to run and that can be found under server tasks scheduled tasks and then just search for a cohort from custom profile field so you just hit the run now or you wait five minutes um, for it to run thanks for watching and uh, please feel free to subscribe to be informed of some more helpful tutorials